morning today we will discuss about basic external insect anatomy thorax of an insect part first in which we will discuss about legs myself Masiroya, Department of Zoology, SPC Government College. The leg are three pairs in the insect. This is a basic character of insecta, class insecta, uh, which is lies on thorax part, meso and metathorax, prothorax, metathorax and mesothorax. There are three pair of legs, first on pro, second on meta, and third on mesothorax. As we discussed earlier, insect body is differentiated into three distinct regions called head, thorax, and abdomen. This one is head, this one is thorax, and legs are situated on prothorax. Grouping of body segments into distinct region is known as tagmosis. This is a term tagmosis. Tagmosis means grouping of body in different segments. Segments means Take meta. The first the one segment of the body as take meta. And different take meta consist body of insect, and this is known as tagmosis. The insect thorax is a box like structure. This is a box like structure where it is made up of four sclerites. Sclerite means segments, cuticular plates, named notum or tergum, sternum, and pleura. The dorsal part of an insect is made up of targa, singular word targa. And the ventral part of an insect is made up of sternum, singular form sternum. And the lateral, lateral part of an insect, which is Membranous on its pleuron. Targum is also plate in numbers. This is one. Uh, sternum is ventral plate in numbers. This is also one. And the pleuron is a lateral plate or lateral membrane, you can say. Number is two. The sclerite play important roles in the locomotion of insect. If we consider the locomotion, these sclerites play an important roles. 
false. On the sternum and neural part, there are appendages located on this side. And on nergum and pleuron, on the joint of nergum and pleuron, the location of wings are there. Then we can say that these skeletes are very important in locomotion of an insect. Some insects have special dorsal sclerite. This is the dorsal sclerite of the prothorax which can be highly modified. Very soon such a You can say in Amopera there is a shield light structure. And in Lateria, here we can say this is also a shield light structure. This is not a head part, this is a thorax part, this is a prothorax part. We can say prothorax part. And in collectera, like a these are the special modifications of oh, not Here we can see the different part of or different part of or different segments of forex. And metaphorics. Each thoracic segment has four sclerites. Uh, prothorax, mesothorax, and metaphorax. Each segment has three sclerites. Four sclerites. Four means four into three. There is a twelve sclerite in thoracic part. Each segment bear one pair of leg. One pair of leg. First pair, second pair, and third pair. In mature pterygot insects, each of the mesothorax and metathorax bear a pair of wings. Mesothorax and metathorax. This pair. Things. The mesothorax and metathorax also bears one pair of spiracle. They are spiracle. Bears metathorax and mesothorax part.
see the typical insect leg structure, structure of typical leg of an insect. The uh, insect leg mainly of six sections. The coxa, cocanter, femur, tibia, tarsus, and gloves. All these things we can compare with this diagram. This is coxa. This is cocanter. Oxa, the most basal section of the insect leg, articulate with the sternite. The sternite means the sternum, one segment of the sternum. Procanter joint between the coxa and the femur. Joint between the coxa and femur is known as procanter. Femur long and stouter than the other segment and contains the main muscles used in running, jumping, and digging. This is the main part where the muscular part of the leg lies. Tibia generally long increase the length of leg to increase the length of leg of takes and extra joints and thus extra flexibility or extra flexibility and also possess some feeds side of the tarsus. Tarsus consists of one to five segments, serve as the foot of the insect leg. This is foot and cause at the end of the tarsus and assist the insect to hold it or hold um, substrate, substrate or its prey. It possesses aerolium, which is a structure. It possesses on class aerolium. Legs are modified in different insects as their habitat and their habits. First modification or first type of leg is cursorium. All typical structures found here used for walking and running. And some where it is known as walking leg. But the leg structure is basically the same. It is found in a basic insect where walking and running is used for medicine and other activities. Second type of leg is raptorian leg. Coral leg is modified for grasping. To grasp something, they are mates also. These are often associated with praying mantis. Praying mantis possess this type of coral legs. This is look like a mantis is praying something. The 
Acharya. Next modification of leg is fossorial. Fossorial leg. For legs and TB specialized for TB. Specialized for DK, fossorial. Common in ground dwelling insects. Insects, they are dwelled on ground. This is this type of leg. Next one is palatatorial leg. Palatatorial leg is adapted for jumping. This type of leg is found on hind legs as by an elongated femur and tibia. Elongated femur and tibia and muscularized on femur part. Salte three movements of grasshopper cricket all this type of auditory insects, but there is this type of legs. Natatorial leg. Natatorial leg. For our hind legs adapted for swimming purpose. Is by elongated city or tassel. City and the tassel. Uh, uh, tassel part. City like structures. Elongated city like structures. Help them to swim. But this type of legs from the femurs. That's that's the living. may also have this type of leg. Thanks. In next lecture, we will discuss about things in thorax part of